in the case of big institutions, which employ 40 to 60,000 people and have multiple sites of operation, um, they, all, everything doesn't happen with 10 people at the head office. It, it happens at different levels. Mm -hmm. And it happens a lot on the ground. <coughs> Excuse me. So, if you don't have those controls in place, on the one hand, and on the other hand, you still have the power on the ground of defiance. So he'll come from head office and say, you need to barcode each of these assets. And you'll make sure that not all of them are being barcoded, or you'll take your grandfather's time about it. Uh, so that in the meantime, you can steal parts mm. uh, or get counterfeit parts or whatever the case might be. So for every single commo serious commodity or service that's offered, there's an element of malfeasance. So some of that can be controlled with, a control, with these control mechanisms. Some of those you detect post facto and do something about them, SRU, Fox, uh, forensic investigations, and you've seen every entity has done that. So the word governance is all embracing. So what do we mean by it? So although in, in terms of PFMA, boards are the accounting authority, but you will meet once a quarter, or sometimes more frequently when there's a crisis, which is the case in some of the entities. Um, but you're not the management. Right. So the next element is what kind of managers do you have in place? So in many of these entities, managers have changed. Some have done superbly, others have battled. The third is uh, still within governance, a change in culture. So you allowed a particular culture to develop, and if you don't change the culture, then you're still going to be contaminated by the past. So how you do things, how you buy things, how you transact, all that is part of your culture. And importantly, <coughs> work ethic, for example. So the current situation in several of the SOEs would demand urgency. But if you are a cruiser, um, you won't see the urgency. And you have to sort of, uh, in a sense, drill urgency. But that also requires tiers of management that understand it themselves and getting things done. So it happens in some places, but not in other places. Uh, <clears throat> your next element is operation. So in most of these entities, when you have capture, not only do you mess up governance, you mess up the operations, because your focus is no longer efficient operations and outputs and service. Your focus is how do you divert resources from operations to capital expenditure in some cases so that you can extract more easily? It's happening. Am I right? In most of the big entities. Uh, jump in whenever you feel like it, in case I'm, I'm going bananas or something. Um, so, What we're battling with in some places is, if you like, operational vigor. So you've heard it on the ESCOM side, mm -hmm. that there isn't the engineering discipline. It was a, it's an engineering organization. So you must have engineering discipline. And there's a particular way everything has to be done. There's no latitude. If you're supposed to check oil every morning, and you only check it once a week, you're gonna, <laughs> that plant is going to be in trouble.